Hey guys, um, so today's video is going to be a book haul. I got all of these books on Book Outlet and I wanted to speak a little bit about Book Outlet before I start the video. So I actually placed three separate orders on Book Outlet because in the summer is when I do the most reading and now that the fall semester is going to be online because of the virus, I plan on reading a lot more this year. I wanted to go on Book Outlet because they have a really good selection of like very discounted books. Yeah, Book Outlet is like was like one of my favorite places to buy books until I heard about the kind of racist stuff going on. So during the whole Black Lives Matter movement, um, I think one girl reached out to Book Outlet, tweeted them, asked why they only have one black Book Outlet vlogger friend. They get kind of like gift cards to buy books and talk about it on their channels. They kind of responded like, oh, we don't have any issues with race. I, I suggest you look at all the books from bl black authors that we have on our website. And that didn't answer the question at all. The girl asked again and said, that doesn't answer my question. Why don't you have more diverse people in your book outlet um, vlogger friends? group?" And they said that they want to keep their website family friendly and they don't want any vulgar language basically saying that black booktubers are not family friendly and use vulgar language when a lot of the white booktube vlogger friends swear in their videos so i got all this information from one of my favorite um booktubers april from getting hugga with it i'll link her channel down below so yeah i watched her video after i placed the three orders and I just don't know if I feel comfortable supporting them anymore because there's a clear problem going on there that she thinks that adding more black booktubers to the book outlet vlogger friends group is going to be a problem. Yeah, so I just feel uncomfortable like that they think like that. Um, anyways, I, I placed like three separate orders um, on books that I've been wanting and I'm going to categorize them by based off of the youtuber that influenced me to buy it i didn't really want to make a video kind of like showcasing what i bought because it brings more attention to their website but also it's not because i'm telling you what's been going on so you can kind of make a decision for yourself if you want to continue supporting them i know a lot of booktubers removed from their contract of being the book of being a book outlet vlogger friend um, which i think is really powerful that they all did that and really makes a statement it's just crazy like you would think that well, I'm not sure who the woman replying was but you would think that someone who loves books or owns like this book website would be educated and you know would read a lot about stuff like that and the prejudice against black people but I guess not but anyway I'm gonna put Goodreads account down below and you can friend me or follow me to see what books I'm reading and my reviews on them I think that's really fun so I'm gonna start off with one of the first people I started watching on YouTube um, Russell from Ink and Paper blog I'll link everyone I'm talking about down below the first one I'm gonna talk about is Conversations uh, with Friends by Sally Rooney Normal People and Conversations with Friends by Sally Rooney are like one of the most popular books I think out now this is one of Russell's favorite books of all time so I really really wanted to read it it's about these two friends that meet this one woman and one of the friends starts having an affair with uh, her husband and it's more of like a character driven book I think Sally Rooney doesn't have a lot of plot but it's a lot more about the characters so I'm really excited to read this book I read Sing Unburied Sing by Jasmine Ward uh, based on Russell's recommendations and it's now one of my all-time favorite books so I wanted to pick it up because she talks a lot about uh, race and like racism in the South and family and motherhood and I just loved Sing and Buried Sing so much. It gave five stars that I wanted to read Salvage the Bones. This is like a beautiful cover by the way. It's gorgeous. I keep it on my bookshelf uh, facing this way so I could see it because it's so beautiful. I believe this one is about a hurricane um, in Mississippi and kind of what follows it so yeah I'm very excited to read that one what we lose by Zenzi Clemens I wanted to buy more books by black authors and this is about a woman who is half black half white and kind of struggles being in between um, and then her mom dies of cancer and kind of what it's like to have your mom die and um, it follows that story um, everyone that's talked about this book that's read it said they've cried and it's a short book I think the cover is beautiful Little Faith by Nicholas Butler is about a relationship between a grandpa 
and his grandson um, and talking about like religion and cults and I really want to read this um, because I, I think it's interesting to read about religion like the nature of religion and what it's like to be in a religious group this one I think is very interesting it's called Suicide Club first of all the cover is just like absolutely beautiful uh, by Rachel Hang and this is a dystopian novel so it's about like a near future where you could live forever um, and people start trading like instead of trading stocks they're trading like human organs and I just really love reading about the future um, because I feel like a lot of the dystopian novels now are not too far off to what could happen in the future so yeah this one just seemed so interesting to me and I thought it was gorgeous like the cover is amazing so this is Catherine Heine's standard deviation um, and it's about a man that I think is having a f an affair and loves two different women but the, m the main reason I wanted to buy this is because all the Goodreads re reviews um, talk about how funny and witty this book is and I don't think I've ever read a really funny book like I've laughed in books before but I haven't read like a very very funny like witty book before and yeah so I wanted to pick it up the premise sounds very interesting so that standard deviation this one has been on my to buy list for so long ever since I first started watching booktube um, and watching Russell and this is Lillian Boxfish takes a walk first of all the cover is really beautiful and this is about a woman I believe she's in her 80s and she's walking in New York in 1984 she's 85 and she's walking through New York and it says she meets bartenders clerks security guards criminals children parents and parents to be while reviewing a life of excitement adversity a passion and heartbreak illuminating all the ways New York has changed and has not so it takes place in 1930s New York um, and I just he said it was a really really beautiful really nice book so I wanted to read it the last one I picked up based on his recommendations is probably what I'm picking up next right after I finish Jane Eyre this is the Pisces by Melissa Broder and this is a very very controversial book like people either love it or hate it there's rarely any in between like people either despise the book or love what it does and it's basically about a woman who recently broke up with her boyfriend and she has to babysit um, this dog in Los Angeles and she sees a merman and falls in love with him and it's like a very erotic novel it sounds very interesting Russell said it's like very interesting to read about her and that he could see Lucy in real life and you know like she's a very real person and I just think I just can't wait to see like where I stand on if I like the book or not so another one of my favorite book youtubers are, um, is Kate file so I picked up a few books based on her recommendations uh, she made a video on her like all-time favorite books and the laugh of heaven uh, was on there this is by Ursula K Le Guin which is a very popular author and this is um, a science fiction dystopian novel where this man has the ability to alter reality uh, with his dreams so then a psychiatrist kind of takes over that ability and kind of what you could do with power and I think it's like you know kind of a metaphor to religion and like how we praise God and things like that so I just thought it was very interesting and it's a very very short book it's less than 200 pages this one uh, Russell from Ink and Paper blog and Kate Kate from Kate File um, talk about this book. This is Girl with a Pearl Earring by Tracy Chevalier and this is kind of follows the story of the woman in this painting which was a very famous painting by Vermeer which was a you know a famous painter I believe in the 1600s. I'm not sure if this is like based on a true story but it follows the story of the girl with a pearl earring and it's now a film so I yeah it's also very short around 200 pages so uh, Russell and Kate talk about this book so I'm really excited to read that one this is probably like the most gorgeous cover I've ever seen Dragon Springs Road by Jenny Chang and this is about a, woman, a little girl um, her mom leaves her in Shanghai she's half white half Chinese and kind of talks about what it's like to be in between two ethnicities and there's like a fox spirit and yeah Jenny Chang is like Kate's favorite author other than 
Haruki Murakami. She talks about the other book that Jenny Chang has, which was not on Book Outlet, Three Souls, and that's her all-time favorite book, so I wanted to pick it up. Truly Devious by Maureen Johnson is like a YA mystery novel. I absolutely love Agatha Christie. And uh, then there were none by Agatha Christie's, like one of my all-time favorite books. I love her mystery books, and there's a lot of comparisons between this author and Agatha Christie. Like if you like Agatha Christie, it's like in the blurbs. It's about this student at a university in Vermont, and they're trying to solve uh, a mystery that went on in Ellingham Academy. So I'm just really excited. I love mystery books. And then the next one is Stronger, Faster, and More Beautiful by Arwen Elise Dayton. Um, and this is a dystopian novel about a society where um, getting plastic surgery is very, very, very normalized. And I think that's going on today. And so I'm interested to see like what this book says and how it handles plastic surgery and the whole controversy and the standard of beauty and everything like that so I really want to read that. Vincent and Theo is like a biographical novel. Everyone I've heard talk about this book said that it reads just like a fiction book. It's very entertaining and you learn a lot about Vincent van Gogh and his brother Theo. I'm really excited to read this. I don't know why like I barely know anything about Vincent van Gogh. All I know is that he had one ear and that he was an artist like so I'm really really excited to kind of learn a little bit more about Vincent and I heard that the story is really heartbreaking and beautiful so I wanted to pick that up and then my third favorite book youtuber is um, April from Get and Hugo with it so I bought three books based on her recommendations sometimes I lie by Alice Feeney a thriller novel every thriller that April talks about that I've read I end up loving like especially I'm thinking of ending things by Ian Reid that was like really really creepy book um, but anyway sometimes I lie she said is like one of the most twisty turny books about this woman in a coma I can't wait to read that one lying in wait the premise of this book by Liz Nugent sounds a lot like dead to me on Netflix and I love that um, TV show with Christina Applegate it's about this couple that is trying to cover up their murder and I'm pretty sure they're in the backyard and everyone that's talked about this book has said that the woman like the wife of the couple that killed the person in the backyard um, is like one of the creepiest characters they've ever read about so that really intrigued me and then Russell and um, April talk about Mr. Flood's Last Resort so I wanted to pick it up it's about like a caregiver that uh, works at Mr. Flood's house and I think he's a hoarder and there's like a mystery going on I think a missing child I think this cover is beautiful too uh, lastly I have three books that no one's talked about that I needed to add to my order to get free shipping to Canada so the first one is the pigmen which I didn't realize is a classic like after I kind of searched it up on Goodreads it's like a classic book about these two young boys that make a prank call to uh, Mr. Pignati and they start to become friends with Mr. Pignati and then something happens that changes their friendship uh, because of a mistake and then they tell the story of the pigman to kind of come to terms with it and get closure so that just sounded very interesting and it was very cheap these three were like under four dollars sorry these two were under four dollars and this one is Nothing Left to Burn by Heather Izzel which is kind of a book about a breakup and I heard it's just a very very weird book about this fire that the author actually survived a fire when she was young and now she has a very big fear of fires and I just thought that was very interesting and I heard good things about this book on Goodreads and it was very cheap so I wanted to add it um, and then the other book is a self-help book which I have a few of but this one my friend from high school always tells me to read and she said it's a really good book so I wanted to pick it up and it's The Power of Your Subconscious Mind by Joseph Murphy. This one uh, is about your subconscious mind and how it kind of how it kind of influences your life and if you could take power over your subconscious mind you could have a better life and I love learning about it. I love learning about the id and the ego and the super ego and everything like that like things that you don't know are controlling your life and like preconceived notions and stuff from your childhood and how you could kind of better your life if you can understand your subconscious mind better so I thought that was very interesting she always talks about it and she seems like a very very zen person so I wanted to buy that I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll link everyone I talked about down below uh, please let me know what books you're reading currently or the best book you've read this year or last year anything about books I want to talk about it in the comments below if you guys read books you probably do if you watch this video and yeah link my good reads down below add me 
and we can follow each other and see what books we're um, reading and our thoughts on it. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video and thank you so much for watching. Bye!